Okay. Just now someone told the right answer the first time. What is 1, 1, 1, 1? You know it's negative, right? Negative. Okay, I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. Huh? Just now, we actually converted decim uh, binary to decimal, right? When the de when I say this now, if the binary is a negative number, what do we do? Add the negative, negative. <coughs> okay, let's go rewind back a bit. For a positive number, in order for us to find what is the value, what do we do? We add up the weightage of the ones, right? For a negative binary, add up the weightage of the zeros and then plus one. Correct? I thought I just wrap it up, you know, right? So fast, forget it. <laughs> You are confusing me also. So now we are doing the reverse. From binary to decimal. <coughs> so what we should we do? Okay, why am I saying that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we did this one earlier, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm forgetting. Oh, we did this last week. Yeah. So for negative number, we are supposed to take the weightage of zeros and plus one. What is the weightage of zero for this one? Zero, zero plus one? one. So the answer is one. Of course, you perform one's complete, you get zero, zero, zero plus one, you get one. So also easy. This one? One plus four, five, five plus one, six. six. So it's negative. Like so negative 1 minus negative 6 it become you get positive. <laughs> negative 1 minus negative 6. So you get positive. So you get it or not? Yes or no? Any questions so far? Any question? Any answers? Any doubt? Again, don't write something that you don't understand. If your concern is just about to take notes, then you can just take photo. But if you want to learn, then you should write down something that you understand. So any question? On this? So this uh, proves are correct. sharing is only one, one to one, we want every student to learn. So try to keep, stick to your section, don't overlap section. If you overlap section, then you won't have the PC. You understand? So our, our lecture and our tutorial may overlap. That means, if I feel there's a need to do so, during the tutorial, I will also conduct lecture. And if I need think there's a need to do so, I will also conduct the tutorial during lecture like how what I'm doing now. It's actually some tutorial question. So part B, please try. There's also a part B. Same thing. Please try to do this. We shall move to question number four. What is question number four telling? Convert the following six bit tools complement and then carry out the operation indicated. <coughs>
question number four. Can we go to question number four? Is there any question on the previous one? Yes or no? No. Yes, we do this subtraction manually, for example, changing converting to from binary to decimal. This one you won't get negative 50, you get negative 1. Because this is a sign number. Sign number, sign number you cannot take it directly. That's why we take the weightage of 0 plus 1. Any other questions? Come again? Not now. I have one leisure time. And you can ask if you don't. Tomorrow, try to. Okay, question number four. It says that there's a six bit <coughs> complement number system and perform the operation. So you have 21 plus 11. Don't. Oh, so it's fine. It's easy. 21, then you put 11 here, then you put 3, 32. <laughs> yeah, you get a big cross. Remember, a two's complement number system is supposed to be in binary. So, since, of course, when we want to convert from decimal to binary, we are supposed to do the long division. But in our class, we are going to use the weightage system. That's how we did earlier. So, since this is 6 bit, so we can write the weightage for the 6 bit. 1, 4, 8, 16, and 32. Only for 6 bit. This is mentioned that is 6 bits only. So, which one of this uh, weightage is closest to 21 but less than 21? 16. 21 minus 16? 5. How can it represent 5? For the remaining 0 plus 11. That's quite relatively easy. So, now can we perform the addition? So, this is 2. This is 2. This is 2. This 2, get 1. Now, even though the question never asked whether it's overflow or not, but let us try to answer the question. Does this have overflow? Obviously, because say, when you're adding same sign, you may get overflow. And in this case, yes, you get overflow. Positive plus positive is supposed to get positive, but you're getting negative. So, that is overflow. Do you understand the concept of overflow? Let's see another example. Go to the next one. Okay, okay. Okay, the next example is negative 14 plus negative 32. Again, this is also 6 bits. So, what we do, we write down the weightage 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. Now, this is negative 14. So, just now we actually what we did from binary to decimal. We actually added up for negative numbers. Huh? What do we do for negative numbers? We add up the weightage of zeros and then we plus one. one. Now we have, we want to change from decimal to binary. So we should do the reverse which means we should minus one. <coughs> so 14 minus one is 13. How can we represent 13 here? 8, 4 and 1. So, but now instead of one we should use zero. So the remaining one. one. Then you add with 32 is the same. 32 minus 1? 31. How can we represent 31 here? Three. Three. Oh, Three. Three. Just by visual inspection you know that one step lower than 32 is remaining all 31. One. This is this. Any question up to this point? You are understanding how to get this? Yes or no? <coughs> okay, don't worry about writing. 
you need. Oh. Uh, Don't worry. Camera. Camera is okay. I hope so. Check. So this one is zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero. Now let's try to find out whether this one has overflow or not. Now we are adding same sign. So is there a possibility of getting overflow? Uh, me. Me get overflow. Negative plus negative is supposed to get? Negative. But you are getting? Positive. Positive. That's the reason why I always put this mark here to differentiate that this is out of that 6 bit range. So you don't make the mistake. So you should look. If it's 6 bit mean, you should look at the 6 bit, more significant bit. So this one also you have For question number 4, there is also part C. I want you to go back and try part C. Can I erase this part? Is there any question up to this point? Okay. 
Now, what is the benefit of doing this? It's because digital hardware don't have subtractor. Digital hardware has only binary header. Can you recall that you learn in uh, binary header in digital logic? Why sir? So all digital hardware have header. So it doesn't perform subtraction. How it performs subtraction is by doing this. Perform two's complement and then it actually adds. So in actual all the digital hardware performs this. It can only perform addition. How it perform? By doing by taking the two's complement of subtrahend and adding it. So for this one there's part B, part C and part D. So I want you to actually try so this part B, part C and part B. <coughs> Thank you. 